just the basic idea about uh, sir python what is the speciality of python just the basic idea we provided already right okay sir can you please spell out python is a general purpose python is a general purpose general general purpose high level programming language are you getting python itself is general purpose high level programming language sir who developed python who developed developed python do you know can you can you spell out the name i forgot sir the people who attended my first session can you please spell out the name yes guido guido van rosam are you getting sir guido van rosam sir this person <laughs> developed python do you know in that data science area mission learning area there are thousand lakhs of people lakhs of software engineers are working under uh, sir with the python so uh, definitely do you know just uh, have a look once uh, sir <laughs> who is going to provide uh, who is going to who is going to provide a big do you know something like uh, <clears throat> yes have a look once sir <laughs> what is uh, just uh, can you please have a have a look sir he is the person sir this person who introduced python are you getting who introduced python to the world this person sir okay guido guido van rosam are you getting that so in 1989 while working while working at a national research institute at netherland while working at the national research institute at netherland netherland sir this python was introduced sir but anyway sir official date of birth for python official date of birth for python is uh, february 20th are getting february 20th 1991 remember this one sir this is the official date of birth even it was developed in 1989 but uh, available to the public but available to the public in 1991 remember this one sir okay february 20th is the official date of birth for the python sir python is the recommended yeah first programming language for beginners right sir i don't know any programming language sir i want to learn python i want to learn some programming language which programming language is the best sir ha ah, sir obviously we should go for python programming language earlier the people preferred c language as the best but now it is it is a python because the reason for that is when compared with the c language python is a very very easy programming language to learn sir in the last session i covered with small small chota examples also right because we are not required to write big big code sir with very concise code with very small number of lines of the code sir we can able to write the program so concise code very easy code we require to write sir remember that okay while small examples we are we are discussing then definitely you people are going to get that feeling i'm sure sir okay oh python is this much easy like uh, n number of places you people are going to feel next uh, python was uh, why why the name python anyone can you please tell in the last session i covered already right in the last class i covered why the name python sir python came came uh, the word python sir this is one bbc do you know one bbc fun show one bbc fun show sir the complete uh, do you know the complete the com uh, what what is the name the which was the complete uh, okay monty python's circus okay the complete monty python sir Ah, uh, Python sir, circus, circus. Sir. This is one TV show which was uh, broadcasted in 1969 to 1974 in the BBC, sir. Okay, sir. At that time, this is a very popular. This is a very popular, very popular TV show, sir. So based on this name, based on this name, okay, Python came in the picture. Okay, this is a very popular, it's a very fun. The same way, okay, Python language is also very fun to learn very easy to learn that's why so the people can can choose this python python word uh, sir from this uh, tv show remember that most of the people are going to feel python is nothing but something like uh, do you know snake or something based on that snake word the python came in the picture no sir remember that sir the complete um, monty python's circus okay sir which was broadcasted in bbc from 1969 to 1974 sir during okay from this show based on this show the name python came in the picture right okay remember that now i have another small doubt sir do you know can you please tell python is the object oriented programming language or not can you please respond please respond python is the object oriented programming language or not yes sir can you please tell is it the 
functional programming language or not yes functional programming language or not is it a scripting language or not yes is it modular programming language or not yes sir python is everything man <laughs> remember that because while developing python Gudo, sir, consider almost all programming features from different languages, right? Sir, do you know functional, functional programming language features, sir? Do you know functional programming nah, language features, sir? Functional programming language features, right? Okay, sir, this one, functional programming language features from C language. Remember this, functional programming language features from C language, C language, right? Next, object-oriented programming language features from C++. So, do you know? Sir, by considering, sir, whoop features from C++, functional programming features from C language. Next and after that, scripting language features. Sir. Scripting, scripting language features sir. from which language, right? Can I, can I spell out scripting language features from Perl? Okay, Perl and Shell script. Are you getting? Perl and Shell script. Next, modular programming language features. Sir. Modular, modular programming language features, sir from modular from modular 3 from modular 3 next time after that you know sir like uh, do almost all programming language features by default covered in python sir that's why python is functional programming language like a c language python is object oriented programming language like the c plus plus and java python is a scripting language like a parallel shell script remember this one sir okay sir modular python is modular programming language like a modular 3 remember that sir so python is everything sir everything all in one which is nothing but what python sir next one after that most of the syntax sir, in python what we are going to use is borrowed from c language and the abc programming language yes sir. remember that sir from C language, just like C, ABC is also another programming language. From C and ABC programming language, okay? ABC programming language, most of the syntax is borrowed. Remember that. So in Python, what syntax we are going to use? Mostly C language syntax and ABC language syntax only. Next, up, features are going to be covered. Which features are going to be covered, sir? So in Python, functional programming language features are covered. Object-oriented, scripting language, and the modular programming. Almost all programming paradigms features by default got covered in python that's why python is uh, everything sir remember this one very very important terminology right sir next uh, after completing this concept sir we covered one more point but before the the new members especially you people should be aware sir sir now my question is python is do you know like a c language like c plus plus like parallel and shell script like modular 3 next uh, syntax we are going to use c and abc languages right Sir, I'm using different other languages, right? Now, my question is, to learn the Python, sir, which language we should aware? Anyone, can you please tell? To learn the Python, which language we have to aware? Yes, yes. Which language we have to aware, sir? Sir, very simple. You are not required to learn any programming language. Remember that, okay? Sir, what is the prerequisite to learn Python? Nothing is required. Nothing is required just uh, only one language you should aware that language is english language remember that okay <laughs> if you know english if you know english then the python you can able to learn very easily sir okay no programming knowledge is required to learn python right okay prerequisite is not there okay remember that next one after that sir where we can use python where we can use python we can use python everywhere sir are you getting? We can use Python everywhere, everywhere for developing desktop application, for developing web applications, for developing database application, for network programming, network programming, next and after that for data analysis applications, machine learning, AI, next IoT, like uh, every area. Happily, we are going to use Python. Don't worry about that. Sir, once you learn Python, definitely your life by default is going to be settled, sir, because in all application areas python is going to be there sir don't worry about that sir now data science area data science area iot area what is the meaning of iot anyone can you please tell iot sir it's a very common word these days sir. what is the meaning of iot Are you please respond man ah compulsory you should respond sir internet of things sir. okay next time after that data science data science okay next time after that ai like Sir, in these areas, 
best suitable programming language is the python programming language right sir data science can i use the data uh, java language in the data science or not sorry sir not possible are you getting that everyone is always going to use either python language or r language are you getting that there is one programming language is there named with r r either python language or r language these languages best suitable sir best suitable for these kind of things sir i know i know java i know java i want to learn the data science with java sorry sir not possible because concise code concise code we are going to use that's why so make make sure sir python if you learn sir in every area you can keep your like the no problem at all that's why so much scope is there with the python programming language believe me sir okay next uh, and after that okay sir almost all software companies already used python sir already started using python best example google google youtube are you getting google google youtube microsoft ibm yahoo so like every every most of the software companies sir in their majority of their products sir, yes python language already used sir okay make make sure this is the just a basic idea what i provided in the last session so after this is the clear for all of right even even the new members also sir i didn't attend last session these are the just the basic things whatever i covered in the last session already this video we uploaded in the youtube sir okay happily if you want you can go through that complete video then you can get much clarity just outline whatever i covered in the last session these are the things that's why the new members also you are not going to miss anything sir okay that's all let me start the sir in today's session what things i'm going to discuss right Sir, very simple. This is a very very important terminology, sir. Sir, what are various features of Python? Are you are telling Python is the king? Python is the best, best suitable like. Python is the king. Are Python is the best suitable? Can you please tell some features? Some features of Python like, na uh, sir, there may be a, there may be a chance of asking the people like. Sir, what things you people can able to tell? Can you can you spell out uh, what are various features of Python programming language? There are multiple features are there, sir. Just like our Java, while learning Java, the people are going to use, sir. Do you know Java buzzwords like buzzwords? Almost around 11 buzzwords are there for Java. Same way, what are various specialities, specialties of Python features of Python? Okay, can you please spell out, sir? Anyone? Can you please tell? Yes, ma'am. anyone whatever you know sir this is the specialty of python sir these are the features right yes easy to learn easy to learn next up freeware and open source simple high level language excellent any other are respond man whatever there in your mind sir this is the feature of python extensible extensible dynamically typed good extensive any other sir these are the features concise code yes good platform platform independent modular okay extensive libraries extensive libraries sir platform independent object oriented portability good portable yes good sir whatever whatever you are feeling you know can you please just spell out the libraries yes whatever you know each and every person should respond man just uh, there are several people who are very silent okay just whatever you know sir this programming language python is the too good because of these features right immediately at least the five to six important features immediately you should be in a position to tell okay next time whenever i'm asking whenever i'm asking you should not be silent remember that sir listen very very carefully okay first first features are sir python is very simple programming language and easy to learn remember this one sir python is a very simple programming language and the easy to learn remember that sir you know python is a very simple programming language i can use the word nursery level programming language <laughs> okay simple nursery nursery level programming language is the python programming language right sir whenever we are reading python program we can feel like reading english statements remember that we never going to feel oh this is the this is the programming are you getting this is the programming instruction program code like we never going to feel definitely you people are going to feel that oh you are reading some english statements right can you please observe that sir x is equal to x is equal to 10 if a less than 20 else 30 are you getting can you please tell what is the if if 10 is less than 20 if if sir some 30 or 
30, 30 is like 720, else 30 is something like. Can you please tell, sir, can you please read this one? 10, x value is 10, 10, if 30 less than 20, else 30, I am taking something like. Can you please tell, what is the x value? Ah, please respond, what is the x value, sir? Sir, you don't know any programming language, just English statements, right? X value is 10, 10, if 30 less than 20, no, sir, 30 not less than 20, else 30 is the value. That's why, what is the x value, sir? 30, what is the x value, sir? 30, like. So, you know, is it uh, something like uh, English statement or not? Oi, respond. Is it something like English statement or not? Yes. So, it is a but uh, believe me, believe me, this is, the, this is the Python code, sir. Believe me, it is the Python code. It's not my own creation, sir. If you want, uh, let me execute this uh, Python code so that you people can feel, oh, yeah, itself is a uh, valid, valid code, Python, Python syntax only. Definitely, you are going to feel. Sir, now just observe that x is equal to 10. If 30 less than 20, else 30 I am taking, sir. Perfectly valid. You never, you never, you didn't get any error. Such a simple x. What is the x value, sir? 13. By default, x value we are going to get. So, Python is something like reading Python code itself is nothing but normal English lines of the code, sir. Okay, normal English lines of the code. Don't feel, sir, it's the program code. I don't know that programming language and so on. No, sir. Python means English programming, English language only, right? Okay. Like, sir, now I'm taking for, for i in range of 10. For i in range of 10. Sir, if I can take print, uh, hello, I'm taking, sir. Can you can spell out? What is the output by default? We are going to get, sir. Yes. If you can show this code, to normal to normal person sir to understand this code do you know some big big programming knowledge is not required anyone can able to understand that can you please guess sir, what this code is doing Are what this code is doing can you please guess huh can you please guess anyone can able to tell sir sir for i in range of 10 oh in range of 10 means sir, sir up to 10 up to 10 sir print of hello print of hello hello he is going to be printed how many times right 10 times sir. regarding hello will be printed how many times right 10 times sir. sir it seems to be very simple sir for i in range of for i in range of 10 sir for i in range of 10 print of print of hello i'm taking print of hello hello i'm taking sir just uh, let me take let me take hello by default uh, executed by default printed how many times right 10 times by default got printed everyone can aware sir seems to be do you know it is a python code it is a python code we are going to write this code thousands of times right but anyway it seems to be simple programming simple english language right okay sir not only here everywhere you are going to feel that are is it is it the program code or is it english code such a type of doubt you people are going to get that is the biggest specialty of python man remember this one so python is the simple programming language and very easy to learn sir sir when when we read python program we can feel like reading english statements clear for all of you right next do you know sir in in english or otherwise in java the people who learn java how many keywords are there how many how many keywords are there in java the people who know who know java do you know almost around the 53 reserved words are there sir 53 reserved words are there but the same question if i can ask python are python how many keywords you have only 30 plus keywords are there almost around 33 or something like 30 plus keywords are there remember that sir very small number very small number if you ever these 33 keywords 33 keywords then the python language by default is going to be completed okay that much easy programming language right the syntaxes are very simple and only 30 plus keywords are available 33 keywords are available right when compared with the other languages, any other language, we can write Python program with the very less number of lines, uh, hence more readability and more simplicity, right? Okay, more readability, more simplicity because Kanta is code writer. Okay, we can reduce the development and the development cost of the project, correct or not? Development time and cost of the project, we can able to reduce because very less code we have to write means uh, we are not required to write a big code. Is it clear for all of it? That's why. Make sure, sir, it is the most simplest programming language is the Python. Next time after that, it is very easy to learn. Clear? Yes?
are you able to understand right sir the first feature what is the first feature sir respond what is the first feature simple and easy to learn okay is the simple and easy to learn uh, manisha is the python is the case sensitive or not python is the case sensitive or not some student is asking the doubt yes python is case sensitive lower case and upper case there is a difference is there okay it is a case sensitive programming language only clear right okay sir what is the second one sir second one it is a very very important sir do you know sometimes what will happen is sir i want to i want to learn python or i want to i want to use python do you know it is uh, it is how much how much license cost i require to pay anyone can you please tell if i want to use uh, if i want to use python in my system if i want to install python in my system how much how much is the license cost okay remember the it is uh, freeware are you getting we are not required to pay single paisa also okay to use uh, sir python software remember okay sir it is the freeware we can use python software without any license and it is the freeware next uh, and uh, open source very very important point sir sir it is the freeware and the open source sir what is the meaning of open source what is the meaning of open source right sir python how it is developed how it is developed source code is the open regarding python how it is developed sir source code is open any person any person can able to see the python code okay internally how it is developed right so yes it is the open source the biggest specialty is if you are not feeling comfortable with one feature happily you are allowed to sir customize python source code based on your requirement remember this one sir your own customized version of python we can able to we can we can able to sir introduce right sir best example sir jaitan is there are you getting can i can I spell out sir what is this one jaitan jaitan is there customized uh, customized version of python to work with the java applications are you getting right sir i will use i will use python i will use python i will add uh, some more libraries i will change the behavior of python based on my requirement and uh, tomorrow i'm going to use the word sir it is the durga python are you getting so python the behavior is the fixed no sir any person can able to customize its behavior because it is the open source everyone can able to understand right what is the meaning of open source what is the meaning of freeware freeware means no license cost any person can able any person can able to sir use without having any license it is a freeware next what is the meaning of open source what is the meaning of open open source open source means do you know right sir source the source code is the open any person can able to see the source code any person can able to customize based on our requirement right best example jaitan are getting jaitan is the customized version of python to work with the java applications right so is it a wonderful feature or not it is the freeware and the open source what is the meaning of both sir most of the people are going to feel freeware freeware is nothing but open source no both are different terminology remember that okay so we can use python software without any license and it's a freeware in if it's a source code is open so that we can customize based on our requirement example sir for that jaitan is the customized version of python to work with the java applications clear yes any explanation is required okay that's all sir so uh, maybe uh, make 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 sure sir this is the uh, second second important feature sir so the first one is simple and easy to learn second one sir simple and easy to learn second one sir freeware and open source okay what is the third third one sir the third one is high level high level programming language are you getting right high level programming language okay high level high level programming language language what is the meaning of high level programming language sir not required to keep much much explanation right okay sir it is uh, python is high level programming language and the hence programmer friendly language best example sir 
best example it is it is the readable just like english are you getting human understandable it is the readable just like english human understandable form being a programmer we are not required to concentrate low level activities like memory management security these kind of things we are not required to worry at all everyone can able to understand right sir make make sure sir okay it is a human understandable programming language itself is nothing but python okay so next uh, sir memory level memory level so allocate memory deallocate memory we are not required we are not required such type of low level activities my python python virtual machine by default is going to take care uh, sir that's all security automatically my python virtual machine is going to take care we are not required to worry it is a programmer understandable terminology being a programmer we are not required to worry about the low level mission level activities okay sir that's all this is about the third okay sir next up fourth one sir very very important make make sure sir platform independent are you getting platform independent remember that sir what is the meaning of platform independent anyone can you please tell what is the what is the meaning of platform independent sir ayyo respond very important the people who are coming from java you can able to tell very easily sir okay good good what is the meaning what is the meaning of platform independent platform independent yes very simple sir very very simple once uh, i write a program sir i write uh, one python program assume that sir i write i write one python program assume sir this python program you can run on any os are you getting on any platform sir no problem without uh, performing any modification happily you can run on any os on any os right sir best example let me take let me let me take sir sir i'm taking test.py assume assume that i'm taking some test.py assume that sir sir now my code is yes assume this is my code what i'm trying to do don't don't worry about that don't worry about that i'm doing something man i'm doing something just uh, what what i'm trying to do is just a uh, six digit otp i'm going to generate assume that assume you may ask sir don't ask what is the what is the code how it is going to work and so on sir sir py test dot py i'm trying to execute sir i'm trying to execute sir six digit six digit otp i'm going to generate sir 100 otp i don't want 100 just i want to 10 only just have a look once have a look once 10 otp is got generated sir random random number sir 10 otp is by default got generated right now my question is do you know which OS I'm using? Windows. Are you getting which OS I'm using? Windows, sir. Sir, suddenly my friend came. Are I want this application? I want this. I want this application. Can you please, sir? Can you please give this program? Like then immediately copy the take take in the pen drive or otherwise they will attach to the mail. Sir, on his mission, on his mission, whether it is the Windows or Unix or Linux or Sun Solaris or Mac, any mission he is going to take, no problem at all definitely this python program is going to work sir sir how many times we have to work a python program only once are you getting how many times we require to uh, write a python program sir only once but uh, sir every day it is going to run no problem at all are you getting write uh, once uh, write uh, once uh, and uh, run run anywhere are you getting write uh, once uh, and the run anywhere this is the policy what is followed to the python what is that sir can you can you spell out write once uh, and the run anywhere anywhere sir you can able to run itself is nothing but sir platform independent nature of python sir what is the can you can you can you spell out is the python is the platform independent or not what answer you can tell please respond what the answer you can able to tell python is the platform independent or not yes Sir, what is the meaning of platform independent? Sir, if you write uh, a Python program, sir, if I write uh, a Python, a Python program, this uh, Python program, you can able to run a uh, Windows machine. Are you getting that? You can able to run on Windows machine, Windows, Windows machine. Next time after that, if you want, you can able to run on Unix machine, Unix machine. Next, uh, if you want, you can able to run on sir mac 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 mission also no problem like sir if you write a python program on any mission we can able to run without performing any change remember this one sir sir who is going to take care 
who is going to take care about uh, converting this python program into corresponding mission specific corresponding mission specific code here we required to use take very very special case here we required to use win <coughs> windows based uh, pvm are you getting what is that sir python virtual mission windows based uh, pvm he is going to take care about the uh, converting this python program into mission specific code remember that sir so python virtual mission is there python virtual mission convert uh, this uh, python code into windows mission specific similarly sir for unix uh, another virtual mission i require to maintain that virtual mission is going to take care to convert into unix uh, specific form for mac also sir python virtual mission is there for the mac this python virtual machine is going to take care converting into corresponding mission specific so we are not required to worry if you write the python program once uh, we can able to run that python program everywhere remember that sir sir are you able to understand right this behavior is nothing but what are this behavior is nothing but what platform respond man why you are silent this behavior is nothing but what platform platform independent behavior are you getting python is the platform independent or not are python is the platform independent or not yes we are not required to write the separate python program for windows separate program for unix separate program for mac sir such type of terminology not applicable but if you consider instead of c instead of python if you consider c program sir okay remember this one i want to write a c program the c program which is written for windows machine there is no guarantee it is going to run on unix machine remember this one sir the c program which is written for unix machine there is no guarantee it is going to run on mac machine are you getting for windows one c program for unix another c program for mac another c program is required that's why c language is nothing but platform dependent language but python is nothing but platform independent language remember that then immediately some you may ask sir how to convert the this a platform independent python code into corresponding mission into windows specific code or unix specific code who is the responsible sir internally python virtual mission will be there that virtual mission is the responsible to convert python code into corresponding platform specific code because of this python virtual mission only python is platform independent is it clear ayyo respond clear for all of you right okay that's all so can you please tell python follows follows right once under run anywhere policy or not yes python follows right once under run anywhere policy no problem at all sir so we are not required to write separate programs for every for every platform one one program is enough for all platforms this nature is not even platform independent nature okay well sir what is the next one very very important terminology sir make make sure most of the people are always getting confusion i don't know the words sir. but both are different concepts so take a bit special care sir what is the next one sir portability are you getting what is the next one sir portability sir can you please tell what is the meaning of portability are you platform independent and portability both are same or both are not same yes both are same or both are not same both are not same if both are same if both are same then why why separate two two uh, points sir both are not same take a bit special care don't use almost the same no 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 okay sir this is what you people should aware what the meaning of portability that part i will take care sir still some people are asking uh, bharat bharat sir is the python case sensitive or not what is the answer i have to tell some person is asking the doubt is the python is the case sensitive or not what is the point i have to tell python is a case sensitive remember that sir python is a case sensitive lower case and upper case there is a difference is there okay make sure now sir is it portable or not make make sure sir what is the meaning of portability do you know sir it is not required it is not required to explain sir because you people should aware here just have a look once 
if i write the a python program if i write a python program it can run on any machine on any platform this is nothing but platform independent in nature then automatically what the meaning of portability okay remember portability meaning is a different sir what what is the what the meaning of portability just have a look once sir so do you know very easy everyone everyone in this session can able to understand uh, have you ever ever used the word mobile mobile number portability ayyo <laughs> these days in india is a very common mobile number portability correct or not are number portability i want to go for port i want to go for portability like uh, you may use mobile number portability sir what is the meaning of mobile number portability sir suppose i'm using yes i'm using airtel sir i'm using airtel airtel but uh, airtel service is not good service is not good i want to go for idea assume for example i want to go for idea can i require to change a number or can you use the same number respond can i use the same number or can i require to change the number so we can use the same number without changing the number okay without changing the number we can able to change from one network to another network from airtel to idea idea to airtel like from any from one network to another network without changing the number you are allowed to go for which is nothing but mobile number portability everyone can be yes man everyone can able to understand right okay what is the meaning of mobile number portability now observe that what is the meaning of python portability python portability you should aware sir sir i write the one python program assume assume that i write the one python python program i i write sir this is my program next i use a windows machine i use a windows machine happily it's executing sir no problem at all happily it's executing the corresponding output i got sir but after few days i came to know windows is not good because it's the licensed version i want to go for linux i want to go for linux linux then then sir without the performing any modification in the program can i change can i change windows to linux or not yes if i if i go for windows to linux sir e the same python program is going to work or not are ha without the performing any changes any changes sir same program happily you can able to change your network no problem at all instead of windows machine you can use linux instead of linux machine you can use vodafone observe that sir so airtel to idea idea to vodafone you can change same number same number network you can able to change no problem by maintaining same number sir by maintaining same python program you can migrate you can migrate from windows machine to linux machine linux machine to mac machine mac mission to sun solar is no problem at all such a type of feature is nothing but portability concept everyone can aware yes sir platform independent and portability sir what is the small minor difference what the, what is the difference you people should aware sir sir once i write a python program once i write a python program you can give that python program sir to any platform person no problem at all sir can i able to run this python program on any platform yes man what is the problem that the nature is nothing but platform independent nature remember this one sir now what is the meaning of portability i i am already executing python program on windows machine man sir without the performing any changes in the python program can i change can i port the, can i port the, this python program to the linux machine or na sir if i run on the linux machine the python program is going to work or not this type of behavior is nothing but okay sir portability portability means do you know migrating from one machine to another machine sir platform independent nature ne executing on all the machines so seems to be both are same but there is a small minor difference is there you have to identify gausia i hope you can able to understand right okay yes so that's all this is what what you people should should aware sir remember remember uh, most of the times you know uh, yes yes 
now hardware components everything will come in the picture yes sanket correct okay yes so now uh, just uh, take take a bit very 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 special care about this one sir my question is sir python programs are portable that is we can migrate from one platform to another platform very easily are you getting right python program will provide same result on any platform this is a nothing but this is a nothing but portability are you getting sir can i able to migrate from one mission to another mission sanket can you please tell can i able to migrate from windows to linux sir my python program if i migrate python program is going to run or not respond man python program is going to run or not python program is going to provide same results or not yes that the feature is a nothing but that feature is a nothing but uh, what we call portability remember that portability but uh, platform independent means uh, just i'm writing one program you can run on any mission you can run on any mission sir i'm not going to write the python program for windows mission python program for uh, do you know some other uh, python program for linux uh, i'm not writing sir i'm not writing that the type of thing is by default considered yes okay sir platform independent in nature remember this one okay yes sanket yes you can able to do that no problem at all raspberry pi yes acceptable okay that's all sir this is platform independent remember that okay sir mostly next the is the python hardware independent or not yes it is the architecture neutral also sridhar it is the architecture neutral also no problem at all okay python is the architecture neutral also man okay three words seems to be same three words seems to, seems to be same one is platform independent second one is portability third one is architecture neutral architecture neutral neutral like a sanket uh, sanket just uh, this is this what you people should be sir if i change a processor if i change a, some hardware configuration still my python program is going to work or not this one is by default considered as architecture neutral if you are talking about hardware components are you getting right portability portability means uh, can i migrate uh, from one os to another os from one mission to another mission which is nothing but what portability next the platform independent means on any mission you can able to run python program no problem at all which is nothing but platform independent remember that sir python always satisfied all these properties no problem at all clear re respond man are you able to understand sir up to this sir how many points we covered sir point number 1 python is very simple and easy to learn next it is a freeware and open source it is a freeware and open source high level programming language platform independent next and after that portability okay like next sixth one sir very very important point dynamically typed programming language are you getting dynamically dynamically typed programming language sir in the last session introduction part i covered already what is the meaning of dynamically typed what is the meaning meaning of dynamically typed sir very simple very simple in python we are not required to specify the type explicitly sir i, I don't want to i don't want to specify the type explicitly in python we are not required to specify type explicitly it doesn't mean python not having data types concept don't get confused most of the people are going to feel ah python not having data types no sir we are not required to specify data type explicitly which is nothing but okay dynamically typed remember based on your provided value type will be considered automatically automatically we are not required to specify explicitly that's why type will be allocated dynamically based on your provided value which is nothing but dynamically typed programming language sir what what it means have you have a look once sir i'm taking here just uh, x is equal to 10 x is equal to 10 can you please tell what is the type of x <coughs> yes ma'am what is the type of x yes type is there type is there but uh, we are not required to specify explicitly if you want uh, what is the type of x yes have you observed right x what is the type of x int int type sir similarly similarly 
if i want uh, do you know sir boolean boolean sir here boolean x is equal to true i am taking x is equal to true i am taking sir sir now uh, now here do you know type of type type of x sir now onwards now onward it is considered as bull type are you getting now onwards it is considered as what type bull type bull type make sure so based on your provided type automatically sir based on your provided value automatically the type by default will be considered that's why python dynamically typed programming language we are not required to specify the type explicitly clear ayo respond man are you able to understand right okay uh, here just uh, take a bit very special case sanket sanket yes uh, take a bit special case sir but anyway as of now just the people who can able to understand you can just give it otherwise you can ignore no problem at all next up point i am telling in python in python everything is considered as object remember that sir everything is considered as object object so primitive data types not there in python but in java you have byte short int long these are primitive types but here in python no primitive type everything is treated as object only remember that's why why what is the type of x immediately it is telling the class int o oh, it is the int type object it is the boolean type object like this right sanket i hope your doubt got clarified are you able to understand right in python everything itself is considered as object anyway the people who who are unable to understand this point ignore because somewhere in the next sessions we are going to discuss sir okay sir next uh, this is sir let me let me uh, conclude again let me let me conclude again again sir sir in python we are not required to declare the type of variables whenever we are assigning the value based on the value type will be allocated automatically hence python is considered as dynamically typed programming language sir do you know but in c language but in c language or java language compulsory we require to specify the type explicitly correct or not compulsory we require to specify the type explicitly that's why that's why sir c language is by default considered a static statically typed language but python itself is considered a dynamically typed language okay make make sure sir may here you should aware next term the dynamic typing nature will provide more flexibility to the programmer okay like you people should aware we are not required to specify the type automatically type will be considered means half of the programmers work by default got reduced that's why it is considered as yes, it's more flexible to the programmer right remember that sir now uh, there are some one or two doubts are there sir can we add the 2 plus 4.5 2 plus 4.5 one minute sir 2 plus 4.5 okay have a look one sir have a look one x is equal to 2 plus 4.5 what is the sir happily you can able to do that sir now sir what is the x value what is the x value 6.5 what is the type of x what is the type of x the type of x is nothing but float type clear yes who is asking bharat bharat i hope your doubt got, got clarified okay next up next and after that sir where where are you writing yeah okay that's all this is about uh, sir where we are i'm um, i'm um, typing this code and so on just mostly within one or two sessions how to install how to how to write a python code and so on we will discuss don't worry about that vishnu yes we will discuss all these things in detail okay next uh, that's all sir sir make make sure this is nothing but what is the dynamically typed programming language so can i require to declare the type explicitly can you can you spell out what is the what is the type of x oi what is the type of x yes okay the type of x the type of x is an ultimate what sir int we are not required to specify the type x plus it right okay next sir x is what type int type int type sir in other languages assume that if it is a java sir if it is a java if i declare int x is equal to 10 if i declare int x is equal to 10 int x is equal to 10 if i declare like that then automatically what will happen throughout its life x is always what types are int type only but but in python 
in python do you know sir we are not required to fix the type like that okay make sure x is equal to 10 x is what type sir int type sir after some time i thought that x sir should be boolean type then automatically x is equal to true x is equal to true now onwards x is going to be x as boolean type remember that now onwards x is going to be considered as boolean type sir after some time after some time x is equal to 10.5 i'm taking now onwards x is considered yeah what types are float the type remember that float the type sir x is equal to sir 10.5 i'm taking sir now onward x is by default considered a string type remember this one either within single quote or double quote within single quote or double quote by default it is considered as a string type sir how many variables are there how many variables are there only one variable only one variable based on my requirement i can use as int type i can use as double type i can use as float type i mean float type string type any type we are allowed to use no problem at all are you able to understand are you able to understand is it more flexible to the programmer or not but in java but in java if i consider index is equal to by mistake in the next line sir x is equal to true i'm taking x is equal to true i'm taking immediately compiler is going to give left and right hey x is int type man x is int type how you can provide boolean type how you can provide boolean type like but in python now onwards x is considered as yeah. now onwards x is considered as yeah. boolean type remember that sir sir now onwards same x is considered as yeah. double type now onwards i mean float type now onwards x is considered as string type so based on your requirement you can declare you can you can you can use x sir for any type no problem at all the type will be allocated automatically based on based on our provided value clear yes i hope are you in your position to understand right okay that's all just uh, have you have you look once sir the same thing i will i want to i want to show for you x is equal to 10 x is equal to 10 what is the type of x x is equal to 10 type of x into type okay well sir same x x is equal to 10.5 x is equal to 10.5 next and after that now sir type of x now one word it is float type sir x is equal to true i'm taking true i'm taking what is the type of x what is the type of x sir bool type are getting type of x itself is nothing but bool type next the x is equal to x is equal to sir 10 i'm taking sir within single quote within single quote single quote now what is the type of x sir now one word it is considered as str type i hope everyone can able to understand clear right yes what is the meaning of dynamically typed this is a type of flexibility not there in other languages right okay that's why compulsory sir the biggest speciality is it is the dynamically typed programming language next uh, one more sir just observe that the people some people are asking uh, while while concept is going on some people sir how do you install python and so on all those things we will discuss don't worry at all sir okay just uh, how basic idea basic feature about python okay there we will discuss in detail first concentrate what i am explaining better to listen not uh, so uh, not uh, you uh, yeah, if you want i will i will explain how to install python how to run our first program all those things we are going to discuss don't worry at all just uh, sir next uh, what is the next uh, cinema we have to talk sir sir do you know i mean features only uh, up to this almost around six features we cover sir up to this six features by default we covered already sir python itself is nothing but simple and easy to learn next and after that python is the freeware and open source open source it is the high level programming language it is the platform independent it is the portability next is the dynamically typed programming language right sir what is the next feature what is the next next feature we require to discuss sir python is both the procedure oriented python is both procedure oriented and the object oriented programming language remember this one sir so if you consider java if you consider java java is object oriented but not procedure oriented right okay procedural oriented benefits procedural programming benefits we are going to miss in java but if you consider c language c language do you know it is a procedure oriented but not object oriented are getting it is a procedure oriented but not object oriented that's why so c language 
missing the benefits are c language missing the benefits are procedure oriented uh, sorry c language missing the benefits are object oriented okay next uh, java language is missing the benefits are procedure oriented remember this one sir because c is procedural oriented that's why it is going to miss object oriented feature java is uh, object oriented object oriented that's why it is going to miss a procedural oriented right but what about python are you getting right what about python python is uh, both the procedure and uh, object oriented right both procedure and object oriented no problem you can enjoy procedural oriented benefits as well as object oriented benefits okay no problem at all sir that's why python happily we can use both procedure oriented features and object oriented features without the class and object you can write the python program with the class and object you can able to write the python program you can use inheritance concept you can use overloading you can use overriding encapsulation like uh, all book features by default they are in in python next and after that you know even without the class and object also just uh, you can write a small code of the code sir happily you can execute the python okay python is both the procedural oriented as well as object oriented programming language remember that sir so python language supports both procedure oriented like c pascal and object oriented like c++ java hence we can get the benefits of both the, like uh, um, both both benefits by default you are going to get sir clear manisha we will discuss don't worry about that at last i will discuss okay up to this is the clear okay now what is the next point very very important point sir make sure this is next the python is interpreted python is interpreted programming language remember that sir so python itself is interpreted programming language what it means right sir we are not required to compile python program explicitly internally python interpreter having no, sir will take care about the compilation we are not required to do explicitly oh can you please compile compile python program and then it is interpreted programming language if a compilation fails uh, interpreter writes uh, syntax errors uh, once compilation success uh, then pvm is the responsible to execute remember that suppose i wrote one python program sir assume that test.py assume i wrote one one python program sir that's all this is about my test.py assume that sir now i i want to i want to run this program now i want to i want to run this program what i will take here py test.py we are not required to compile we are not required to compile sir so who is going to take care my python virtual machine is going to take care about the syntax checking also remember happily the corresponding output by default we are going to get assume assume that there's a small syntactical mistake is there yes colon is not there assume colon is not there immediately sir whenever you are executing now you are going to get syntax error a invalid syntax can you please tell who is the responsible to check your syntax yes sir which is again python virtual machine is the responsible here no explicit compilation is not there first pvm is going to take care all syntaxes are correct or not if the syntax is correct then only sir pvm is the responsible to execute line by line that's why explicitly we are not required to compile python program but if you consider java program sir assume that i write i write the test.java i write one small test.java sir if you want to run this test.java first we have to compile are getting what i have to do sir first we have to compile java c test.java once the compilation completed then only we have to run sir once compilation completed then only we have to run okay java test we have to run java test observe but uh, in python we are not required to write uh, just uh, you have to use py test.py everyone can aware everyone can aware are you able to understand can i able to compile can i able to compile explicitly python program can i able to can i is it required to compile explicitly python program no internally my python virtual machine is going to take care about compilation also sir if anywhere syntactical mistakes are there 
immediately python interpreter is the responsible to raise the problem pvm is the responsible right sir once all syntax errors got fixed uh, no more syntax error then only python interpreter is going to execute our program line by line remember that sir very very important point so python itself is interpreted programming language okay well now i have small small means uh, yes i have small small some more some more things are there just uh, let me add uh, those features also right sir what is the next uh, feature we have to discuss sir very easy feature only don't worry about that sir extensible are you getting can i can I spell out sir what uh, what i'm trying to take extensible what is the meaning of extensible what is the meaning what is the meaning of extensible very simple sir sir we can use uh, other language programs in python sir are you getting python is extensible with other language code also are you getting so we can use other language programs in python sir why why what are the main advantages right what are various main advantages right very very simple sir very 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 simple the biggest advantage here is suppose assume the assume the i have i want to develop one program one one program sir python program i want to, i want to develop sir assume that this is my python program what i here some some functionality some some functionality here some functionality is required for this functionality already c language code is available sir are you getting already already c code c code is already available available for this functionality then can i use that c code in my python program have you observed can i use that c code in my python program yes no problem at all remember this one sir happily you are allowed to use a c code sir in in python so other language code also we can use python we can use inside python program so the biggest advantage of this approach is sir non python legacy code we can able to use in our program so that reusability of legacy code second one sir do you know python is interpreted programming language or not respond man python is interpreted programming language or not yes so the advantage is we are not required to compile but the problem here is uh, but the problem problem is performance wise python is not up to the mark remember this one sir because line by line read first line and then interpret and then execute like line by line line by line reading reading interpret execute read second line interpret execute read third line interpret execute automatically performance is going to be down do you know interpreted language yes performance wise not up to the mark that's why sir if the performance is the very critical what i will do is that particular part that particular part i can implement in some other language in some other language and i can call that functionality into python no problem at all are you getting right so automatically performance by default is going to be improved or not yes okay clear clear are you able to understand right what is the meaning of extensible extensible means other language code other language programs happily we are allowed to use inside python so that performance improvements we can able to take care already existing legacy non python code happily we are allowed to use no problem at all that's all so this is about extensible next uh, do you know sir python is embedded embedded sir what is the what is the meaning of embedded what is the meaning what is the meaning of embedded sir very simple sir i can use other language programs in python which is nothing but extensible i can use python i can use python in some other languages no problem at all reverse sir reverse i want to use python with the java language i want to use python with the java language is it possible or not i want to use python with the c sharp language possible or not yes why not man you can embed your python code in any other language that feature is nothing but embedded remember that that feature itself is nothing but what embedded we can use python programs in any other language programs so no problem at all okay you can embed you can embed uh, sir python within c or c++ like any language you can able to do that 
we can embed python programs anywhere clear more flexibility right okay next uh, 11th one sir so it is a very very important sir extensive library are you getting what is the meaning of extensive library okay sir do you know do you know sir python python for every requirement already library is available sir we are not required to write the code we are not required to write the code just uh, import that library and use that import that library and use that use that that's all we are not required to write the code sir 99 percent of the work uh, is going to be done with already existing library just one or two percentage of the work a uh, programmer is required to do obviously the easiness by default will come sir so because of these uh, libraries best example sir i want to generate a random number are you getting i want to generate a random number random number right what i'm doing sir and int 0 to 9 so from 0 to 9 can you please generate some random number can you please generate some random number to generate this random number i'm not writing the code because this functionality already implemented inside random module are you getting inside random module module itself is nothing but library sir do you know sir just import that library start using that we are not required to write big big code man such a type of such a type of thing itself is nothing but such a type of thing itself is nothing but extensive library support is there everyone can aware sir so for every requirement libraries are available just use those libraries you are not required to be that much strong in programming okay that is the speciality of python sir there are some people are going to you inside python batteries are available inside python batteries are available each battery is nothing but module man each battery is nothing but library observe clear are you able to understand right okay that's all these are various features whatever they are related to python so why python is the very popular is nothing but because of these features only sir almost around 11 features i covered can you please scratch it python is the simple and easy to learn it is a very nursery just like nursery level programming language man okay easy to learn it is just like english next time after that freeware we are not required to pay single paisa to use python next is the open source based on our requirement we can customize we can we can customize the programming uh, customize programming requirements right okay so jaitan next iron python pi pi like uh, there are multiple versions of python is available based on our requirement okay like uh, next uh, it is a high level programming language programmer understandable programming language okay we are not required to worry about low level activities how the memory will be allocated what is the address such type of things uh, my python virtual mission is going to take care we are not required to worry much about that next time after that platform independent platform independent once i write a python program you can run that python program anywhere are you getting write once uh, write once uh, run anywhere is the concept of platform independent next uh, portability means uh, once uh, i write a python program i it's a uh, happily running on my machine are getting i want to migrate from windows to linux or linux to sun solaris sun solaris to mac from one machine migrating to another mission it is a very easy so without performing any change in the python program you can migrate python program from one mission to another mission that concept is nothing but portability concept are you getting that sun solar is sun solar is nothing but something like operating system rishi okay next just like unix just like windows like uh, uh, there is another operating system okay now this is about portable sir most of the people are getting the doubt uh, what is the difference between platform independent and a portability just uh, take a bit very special case sir. platform independent platform independent means uh, if i'm write a program it will run on any mission without performing uh, it will run on any mission write once write once run anywhere write once run anywhere is the concept of platform independent remember sir what is the meaning of portability portability man sir i'm using my sim happily with airtel airtel network i'm using it's working too good 
but the offers are not there in the airtel assume offers are not there i want to i want to change my network from airtel to idea assume that from airtel to idea same number without the making any change in the number by maintaining same number if i change from airtel to idea that is called a mobile number portability remember that same way i i wrote a python program i wrote a python program happily it's running on windows so without making any changes i want to migrate this python program from windows machine to linux machine is it going to work or not yes migrating from one machine to another machine itself is nothing but portability remember that sir sir write once run anywhere is the concept of platform independent migrating from one machine to another machine without performing any changes is the nothing but portability so python program is the platform independent python program is the portable no problem at all next time after that okay next next time after that dynamically type of programming language what the meaning of dynamically type of programming language right we are not required we are not required sir to specify the type explicitly based on our provided type based on our provided value the type will be allocated dynamically dynamically that kind of concept is nothing but dynamically type because of this dynamically type sir more flexibility is available to the programmer remember that next one after that sir it is both the procedure oriented and object oriented sir without the class and object happily just the procedural oriented uh, programming only with the functions calling those functions i can able to write my python program okay sir best example i am taking this program i am taking this this program sir are you seeing anywhere a class anywhere an object no just i am writing some script sir first line second line third line and so on sir simply i am going to execute yes without the class and object also you can able to run sir sir just i am taking def f1 def f1 just a print a hello hello sir just a hello hello good evening hello good evening something like i am taking sir are you getting sir if you if you observe that i am not writing any class i am not writing any class just i am writing a function and you can call that function any number of times sir just i am writing a function just i am writing a function and you can call that function any number of times no problem at all now observe that now observe that happily that function by default is going to be executed this thing is nothing but procedure oriented and object oriented right sir if you consider c language can you please tell c is object oriented programming language respond respond c is object oriented programming language no no sir because c is not object oriented it is missing object oriented benefits sir. reusability inheritance next and after that you know uh, polymorphism these kind of benefits which are missing in c language right? okay like so c is a missing object oriented programming benefits sir. now my question is java is object oriented or not are java is object oriented or not yes 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 so all benefits are object oriented by default there in java in java but java is not the procedure oriented sir that's why procedural oriented benefits we are going to miss in java suppose i want to write a java program i want to write a java program without class without object sir just i want to define a function like this i want to call that function i want to call that function in java it is not possible remember this one sir in java is it possible or not possible respond in java is it possible or not possible not possible not possible means uh, we are missing procedural oriented benefits in in java language remember this one sir so compulsory class should be there within the class you have to write a function or method and so on but in python no that's why so here take a bit special care java missing the benefits of procedural oriented c is missing the benefits of object oriented but python is e, both the procedure oriented and object oriented that's why we are going to get benefits of procedure programming benefits of object oriented programming right okay sir if you want you can write the program with the class and object if you want you can write the program without the class and object also such a type of thing is possible in python more flexibility more benefits we are going to get sir 
Next one after that, it is the interpreted. We are not required to compile. We are not required to compile. Python itself is going to take care about compilation. Okay, sir, it's a, it's an interpreted programming language. Okay, like that. Next, uh, extensible, extensible other language programs. Happily, you are allowed to use in Python. Next, the uh, Python program you are allowed to use in other languages also. So, other language programs you can use inside Python. Python is extensible. Next, uh, we can embed Python programs in other languages. That's why Python itself is nothing but embedded, embedded feature, right? Next, uh, the biggest specialty of Python, extensive library. So, for every requirement, library support is available, sir, okay? Being a programmer, we are not required to implement, uh, just uh, we are responsible to use uh, that uh, functionality. That thing is by default considered, yeah, extensive library support is available in the Python. Remember that, sir? Everything, libraries are available. For everything, batteries are available. Being a programmer, we are required to use those batteries. That's all. Clear? Are you able to understand? Okay. So, if any person is asking, Hare, can you please tell what are various features of Python or what are various benefits of Python? Just simply you can talk about these things, right? So that you people, I hope, uh, sir, you people can able to, can feel comfortable. Are you getting? Ayo, no response. Okay. That's all, sir. This is next. Uh, somewhere in the next uh, session, sir. Don't worry about that. How to install Python? How to install Python? How to run your Python program? In how many ways you can run the Python program? Sometimes, you know, um, I, I open this one. Sir, sometimes I, I open this one. Just uh, print ah uh, hello, hello, like this I'm taking. Sometimes, uh, do you know, print of hello, like this. Happily, hello is going to print. Sometimes what I'm doing, sir, here only, uh, sir, Python, like this. Now I'm taking, sir, print of hello, like uh, something like I'm, I'm doing, sir, like uh, Sometimes I open this one and then test.py like, sir, what all these nonsense? Don't worry, in how many possible ways, in how many possible ways we can able to, we can, we can able to, sir, we can able to run all those things we will discuss. Are you getting right? Okay, that's all. This is about just a brief for description, sir. Sir, after completing this class, even this class also will be uploaded in the YouTube. Just the last session under this session go through that. Tomorrow onwards the class will be continued as usual, sir. Okay, that's all. Just I'm stopping the session.